China is the world's largest gold producer and the world's largest buyer of gold. We're talking mining. We're in Thunder Bay. We're at the Valhalla with Minister of Mining for Ontario. Thank you for taking the time today. Well, it's a pleasure to be here. In your remarks today, you spoke about China yes. and gold and China's determination to become the major world power yeah. on this. What can Ontario be doing to help protect the West? Well, you know, that's, that's a very good and important question. Um, at the federal government, they've already um, uh, determined that the Chinese will not be allowed to invest in certain projects. They made that announcement about a year ago. Uh, the, it's well known that the Chinese want to have, want to be, they want to be the number one world's currency. That's one of the reasons why, as I said in, in remarks, they, uh, they're the largest producers of gold and they're also the producers, the largest the buyers of gold. And they want, uh, of course, if they're going to have the world's currency, they have to have a solid um, commodity to back that currency. That's one of the reasons why gold is changing, creating it about approximately 3,000 tons, uh, $3,000 to $3,000 an ounce right now. I think that what we have to be aware of, of course, is that in fact the world's a different place. We have to be aware of the fact there is there is a obviously a risk and uh, associated with cyber security, uh, and that's been driven by uh, the Chinese. So, uh, quite frankly, as as uh, and not to be glib about it, but you know, be aware of what the what what the world is all about right now. Be aware of it. Do you like what you see? Hit the subscribe button. Net News Ledger will keep you up to date on business news, mining news, weather, everything you need to know across northern Ontario and beyond.